Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana here in Billings, Montana. And listen, I'm going to do a little series here for the next couple videos talking about animals here in Montana and what they're doing in the winter time. And there's four in particular that I want you to look forward to in the next couple of weeks. But I want to start off with one that a lot of people are surprised they're still seeing right now even though winter is setting in. And that's this little cutie right here and he's gonna curl up right now. Now, a lot of you guys know this as the woolly bear caterpillar. A lot of people actually call him the hedgehog caterpillar too because they will actually roll into a ball and let that pointy hair stick out just and they play dead, kind of like a hedgehog does, and so that's where they get their name. But let's talk about the woolly bear first of all. First, obviously, they're a thing of mystery, a thing of lore. A lot of people really believe you can actually forecast the weather, the upcoming winter, by looking at a woolly bear caterpillar, depending on how big the black section is from the brown section. If if we were to believe that, by the look of this woolly bear, it means we're going to have a pretty long and severe winter because the black is so long. But that has been disproven. They believe that's just a myth. You really can't forecast the weather by looking at a woolly bear. I'm sorry to tell you that. But what I really want to talk about is why in the world I just found this guy here at the zoo just a couple days ago. It's cold outside. What is he doing? Shouldn't he be dead or maybe hibernating or something? Well, yeah, he's getting ready to. These guys, surprisingly enough, are born in the fall here in Montana. And then what happens is they then, of course, go into a hibernation. Now that's where it gets so cool. This hair that's on them, it's called seta. And basically what that is, it's a specialized hair that actually, it, it acts like a bristle and helps to keep them warmer of all things. It has really nothing to do with the coloration. It's the how, the how thick that hair is. But what's really cool is inside his body, he's got the ability to actually develop this organic antifreeze, if you will. It's called glycerol. Basically what that is, it's a chemical that in the springtime will go through his body and thaw him out. So he is gonna literally freeze like an ice cube and then thaw out come the spring, he'll go out, find a nice leaf, fatten up, and then build a cocoon, and then he'll become a beautiful moth later in his day, which is a kind of cool thing to keep in mind. But you might, if you're lucky, if you're digging through logs or something in the wood in the wintertime, you might find some of these guys literally frozen. And get this, in some experiments, they actually froze these woolly bear caterpillars in an ice cube and thawed them out, and it came back to life, which is just so cool to think about. It's a really neat thing. But anyway, look for these guys, because believe it or not, they're still out and about looking for that wintering hibernation spot. Again, the woolly bear caterpillar, pretty common right here in the state of Montana. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy with our little woolly bear here at the zoo.